Okay, guys, um, thank you very much for the feedback on the, the clip we put up. Obviously, just an initial clip, and this is obviously just enough an initial clip before we film and before we start filming all the the criteria for uh, for the rules and for the judging and all that sort of stuff for you. Um, we're talking about full contact to the body, but what we, we want to encourage is good skills within Wing Chun, which I think all of us are on the same page about that. Okay, so the reason we have no striking um, without a bridge is because we don't want people just swinging punches, because obviously you can hurt somebody and also you could hit someone's elbow and break your hand, right? If you have bridge contact, so you make a bridge, that could be of a lap sal, could be of a pack sal, so you can make a bridge and hit, that's fine, because obviously you, the person has a chance to react because there's been bridge contact. Also, that means that you're not loading up your whole body power to hit somebody, right? Now, when you're in contact, when we talk about full contact, if you're just rolling and you're just, you know, smashing at someone with full power, yeah. obviously, he can hit me back with four or five hits if I leave my hand out there. So, the idea of full power is, yeah, we hit with power, but we want to get combinations. So, when we're rolling, it's not just trying to like, punch someone and push them back as far as we can. The idea is to get that combination hit to show Wing Chun's skill. So if you're in a situation where you're throwing punches like this and from the, from the roll just throwing punches, they won't be scored because they're not controlled punches. It doesn't matter how powerful they are, right? You know, even if they're too powerful and you're using too much uh, random movement that is not controlled, you'll get a point deduction for a lack of control, lack of skill, right? Okay, so we want to focus on the skill element because we want to see good power, good control. We want to see the person have realistic pressure, right? That's why we're saying full contact because if the pressure is just to touch contact, then it's, it's hard to say whether that would do anything. But if you're in rolling here and you're getting that kind of power where you're, you can see the power in your strike, and you can see this power in your strike, then that's, that's a good contact for us. If I'm just gonna hit him hard and push him back, I've control, not controlled the bridge, I've not controlled the space. If I then load up and punch here, I might hit someone and hurt them. But that's not good win chung, is it? Right? So I'd rather we have this kind of short power, or if we're here, we obviously make a bridge come in control somebody and look for control so even if I have the shot here I'm not going to just try and smash him and smash him with my hand I want to go like one two and then look for my palm right or look for my control look for my clinch control we really want to emphasize the power is with control it's all about controlling your opponent either with the body position with your timing or with your striking that's what winter is all about is controlling someone's weight balance controlling the strike uh, someone was asking about having having it with no strikes to show control I understand what they're saying, we do that in training, but Wing Chun is about striking. Otherwise we're doing a push hands competition, which is more, you know, it's not what we do in Wing Chun. Right? Well, Wing Chun is a striking system, we want to show the striking. We want to show we can control our striking. Because right? a lot of Wing Chun uh, Chi Sao tournaments that we've seen previously, sometimes there's a lack of control, there's a lack of power, there's, there's, there's elements that we've tried to work out how we could apply them to make it more how we should normally apply the art. So for me, like in Jiu Jitsu, when we train Jiu Jitsu, when you're rolling on the mat in a fight, you wouldn't roll with somebody, you just do the submission. You pass the guard, you, you submit them. Right? You get cross body, you, you break their arm, you choke them, right? So that's the, the application of it. In rolling, I might pass, go for a rolling arm bar, I might go for a choke, it's a, a combination, I might try and step and sweep, because I'm trying to, I'm trying to upskill myself, right? So the same with Wing Chun. When we're rolling here, we try things in rolling that we don't try in a fight. But in a fight, or in a competition environment, we go to our basics. The basics should be what we focus on, make sure the basics are working. Because in a fight situation, how does that translate? If someone grabs me, right, then I'm going to strike them, right? In Wing Chun, I'm going to strike and the fight's finished. That's why we're saying it's, it should be a flurry. Wing Chun is all about a flurry of, of striking. We all say in a fight it should last, you know, three seconds, right? That's why we have three rolls, right? So one, two, three, we go. Now we start to look for our position. Right? Once you find a position to get in, then boom, boom, the fight should be finished. And he would be on the floor, that'd be finished, right? If I'm here, look, go there. He gets me. Yeah, go, go, go. Fight would be finished, right? Okay. Yeah. Camera pressure, right? Yeah. Young bloods are getting pressured. I didn't tell them we were filming this anything this week, so they're all stressed out. <laughs> so here, go, go, go. yeah, go, go. Yeah. So here, fight would be finished, right? He's got me a choke, right? Okay. So we're here, we're rolling. So I'm looking for my finish. Fight's finished, right? Yeah. Fight's finished. So he grabs me in the fight, and here, boom, boom, fight's finished, right? Boom, fight's finished, right? So I did a fist there, club. Controlling my strike, but that's why in competition we don't do the fist because that in training I can control it. In the competition he might run into me and I punch him, so that's why I want that. So that's, that's my mistake in competition. But in the fight, he grabs me, then we strike, finish, right? He goes to push me, I strike him off, I punch him, right? So in Chi Sao, the same thing. We want to have that control of skill, that flurry of skill. That's what we want to see. We don't want to just see people 
hitting and just pushing each other around is not what we're trying to promote, right? It also, what we won't want to do, someone's asking about leaning and stuff. If someone's leaning on you, you're going to take their balance, right? If they're leaning and rolling like this and pushing, they're going to get point deduction because it's not chi sao. Chi sao is good posture. So you want to see good posture, good body movement. This is good chi sao. If they're doing this and they're just pushing in, that's no good. If someone's just trying to flick their hands on your face and touch you, they can do that, but there's no points for them. There's not a flurry of combinations. There's no power control. There's no emphasis on, on controlling the opponent. So guys that want to roll and just touch. Okay, in a fight, you might say, I might stick my finger in your eye, I'll do this, but that's nothing guaranteed. We're looking for raw shock power, you know, the basics of the system. All the other stuff is the stuff that we have for the street, which is not really competition focused. So the basics for a competition, of any competition, for judo, for jiu-jitsu, is your basic core techniques, your basic throws, your basic trips, your basic submissions. So Wing Chun, our basic body control, our basic strikes, everything should be focused on what we normally do to, to win a fight. If you're in a trouble, you want to win a fight, that's what you're going to do. But in a, in a competition environment, the control aspect is very, very important because obviously we want to have safety, but we also want to show and showcase the art. Okay, so I hope that helps with some of the questions. As I said, this is just some introductional stuff. We're going to have lots and lots of stuff we're going to put up. Um, we've got the Facebook pages all going live, the, the open page is going to go up. We've got Instagram going up, we've got a YouTube channel going up. And what we'll do is we'll start putting loads of stuff on that soon. Uh, eventually, when we start having the fights all around the world, we'll, we'll be uploading all everybody's competition fights that they want up there. So it's going to be a, a, a fantastic uh, showcase of what we do in Wing Chun. So we want to make sure that we really have something that's uh, unique to what we do. Okay, so hope that helps. And uh, more questions? Let's you know, get all the questions out now so we can make sure we've got it 100% the way we want it.